Horizon superstars. He's looking for new racers to take part in the dirt racing series. Oh, I see how this works. Um, so I believe, like the dirt races are a season, the street races are a season, the stunt drives, the stunt things right here are a season, and so on and so forth. That makes sense. Okay, so like each season has its own type of race. I don't know why I didn't figure that out before. But I believe the this one right here was autumn, and the other one was like spring or something like that. Um, and like I said, we're starting off in summer, and I don't know if this dirt race is summer. Uh, if it is, that would be cool, because we can make our own super fancy dirt car. Uh, not a dirt car, like a rally car. Um, so, let's just make our way over there, even though we don't have a rally car, so I'm guessing we're going to be prompted with a rally car. Uh, in the demo, we were, so. Yeah, I'm kind of stealing ideas from the demo. Oh my god. I didn't really drift as well as I wanted to. Uh, I really do want to unlock my car's garage and all that, though. Um, to see the Agera RS. Um, because that thing is crazy fast. And I don't know if I have to pay for it. Or if I get it for free by buying this. Oh my god, I'm fishtailing so much. Ooh, ooh, buddy. Gain traction just before I went off. Okay. And barely missed that guy. Boy, you should hire me for like a drifting thing. Because I don't even have a drift setup on this, and I'm already drifting like a crazy man. You have to come to pretty much a complete stop before um, you can actually enter a race. So, we are... I've already spent 2 minutes and 56 seconds in first place. Not bad. And a 2,343 foot drift. Okay. Uh, we have pulled in. Great. Come and see me after the race if you need anything else. That action though... Ah, it's you. I heard about the stunts you pulled for Joel. You know how to drive, don't you? Sorry, I'm Alex. I run dirt racing for the festival. Speaking of which, you'll need a car that can handle mm -hmm. the Okay, so I'm probably going to stick with the one that I usually go for. Nice. The Subaru. Subaru. That flat four boxer engine is an absolute beast, I'm telling you. Uh, in the demo, this thing was already souped up, uh, like engine upgrades and all. Um, not fully, but by a lot. And we are driving on the left side. Expect for me to crash in real life, because I do not do that. <laughs> this should be fun. Boom, boom, boom! Those front lights look pretty cool. Yay. We're getting into it. They get into like the really nitty gritty with the details and all that. Oh, why can't I use a new okay. um, rally car? Right up. You go and enjoy yourself out there. Jesus, this thing's fast. Like I said, it's all souped up and my first car was not even upgraded at all. But still, this thing's really, really fast. Well, this is a lap race, so I don't really need to panic too much if I don't make it for the first one. Okay. Ooh, man. Yeah, see, um, watching this race when I hit the road, because this thing has, like, no traction whatsoever on the road, just because it's got rally tires on it, and so it gets all of its traction on the dirt, but when you get on the road, it's like, you're screwed. Um, cause if you go drifting into the road, you just go flying off, yeah, see? And then I gain control back pretty quickly on the dirt. So, 
Um, yeah, using a rally car. Like I said, they focused on all of the different terrain and how it would affect your car, and that's definitely what they focused on in this, so be careful about using a rally car on the road, because it's probably not going to turn out very well. They're not going to get any traction, and also vice versa. So, we are now two, uh, like halfway through the race, I believe. And we're in first, as usual. Uh, I'm wondering how far in we need to go before we don't make first place. Because eventually these races do get super duper difficult, but these ones right now... I do have the driver tires set on like average, and I don't know if I can change that yet, but... Average is good for me, because I can still beat them. Oh my god, look at my score! I got a 41,300 on my score. Oh my god, it's just wheel spin on the road. On the dirt, you like pick up really quickly, but not on the road. Roads are for noobs! Probably their motto with the whole dirt racing thing. So I believe it's the race after this race after this wait the race after this and after that race um, that will allow us to get to the auto show or at least it unlocked a bunch of different cars um, for me in the demo. So I'm guessing that's going to be what it is, and that's probably going to be the summer one if this one isn't. So, either way, that should be fun. Actually, this one might be winter. I don't know why it would be summer, because it's off-road. But, um, yeah. I'm guessing street races are going to be summer. This one's probably going to be winter. Oh, there we go. That was like a perfect drift onto the road. Okay. We are moving at fast speeds. And we are now going into the finish line. Whee! Drift into it. Sick. First. Plus A. Yes. First race in the bag. How do you feel? Dirty. Brilliant. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, we had the highest ranked car out of all of them. So I kind of feel bad. But mainly we had Subarus in there. So. GG. GG, GG, GG. Kinda need to customize my character. Don't quite know how to do that. Oh my god, that gives you so much CR. You could go far in my dirt racing series. Perform like that again, and you may just make it into round two. Yeah, boy, level two. Level dos. Looks like you've nearly qualified for the autumn season. And remember, the more driving you do, the more you'll build your influence. Hey, buddy. Ooh. Fancy winning a prize? Ooh. Here, have a wheel spin. Woo! $45,000! Oh my god, on my first wheel spin. That is sick. Hey, I'm hearing good things about you. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, my name's Jay. I might have something that'll interest you. There's a street race meetup, and I think you should check it out. See you there? Sure, yeah. Okay, fast travel word. Definitely gonna hit that. Because eventually we will need it. And also, we're probably gonna have to fast travel a lot um, by the time we start doing challenges. Which probably isn't gonna be too soon from here. Ooh! Was not expecting that big of a drop. Okay, where is it? Right here. Good. Smash up fast travel boards and you'll get a discount on the Horizon fast travel service. Smash them all, and the festival will cover your cost completely. Get oh to keep my in mind for our many adventures. What? Yeah, let's just not think about that yet. <laughs> let's have some tunes. Tunes. Okay, so we're making our way downtown. Walking fast in our new fancy car. Oh my god, evasive maneuver. Never mind. I am a stunt driver. Believe. We. Boom. We. I almost went right through the middle of that sign. Oh no. Wait, did I just. No, I broke it. Okay. I was gonna say, did I just flip through that tree? Nope. 
Okay, so we are still in the intro to the game. And the intro is probably going to be the first episode. Um, once we finally get into the whole car thing, that's going to have to be the second episode because I'm going to have to leave you guys on a cliffhanger. Yay, that's how this works. <laughs> finally get to something good. Um, sorry, get to something better than it already is. And then we have to end the episode, <laughs> sadly. Uh, but I'm still going to keep going. You guys are going to see slightly the first couple cars once I get to the auto show part. You guys are going to see the first couple cars, um, but in the next episode I will show you guys what all the cars are. Uh, unless we don't... Who is Zenvo? You ready? Ready? Sorry. Let's do this! Really? A Zenvo versus a Porsche? Oh, and that's a question, you, who's going to win? I'm Jay, by the way. I, I think the Zenvo is really good. You, you know? If you drive half as well as he says you can, these guys will love you. Oh, before we start, you've got to know this isn't strictly sanctioned by the festival. So don't mention this to Kira. Jeez, I'm All probably right. going to get wrecked in this. i got to go. Work to do. Work to do. See you around, though, yeah? These might not be official, but you keep coming to these meets. I'll make sure everyone at Horizon knows your name. Okie dokie. Looking well, forward to seeing what join. you can do out there. Have fun now, yeah? Oh, <laughs> Okay, let us see here what we can do. Ah, oh, really, the Zenvo and the Porsche are in the race against a rally car. A rather souped up rally car, but a rally car. And I missed it. I'll accept my fate, except I'll reverse as well. Move! Out of the way. My Buddha. Okay. I like the new music that they added. It's a little different, but I like it. Not bad, not bad. This thing is not meant for road racing or street racing. It's meant for off-road racing. Ooh! Ooh, thread the needle! Thread the needle! Right through those trees. Slow it down. Could've crashed into those guys, but... I'm not that savage. No, I don't know. I think I might be. Ooh, barely clipped that checkpoint as well. This is actually... For a game this size, it's not that laggy. Which is another big thing. Um... When you started to get all the add-ons and everything for Forza Horizon 3, it started to get a little, little laggy. Um, but that's another reason why we had to update, and that is why we are here. So, now that we have Forza Horizon 4, I'm hoping that they kind of fixed that issue. You can't really fix the issue. Uh, it's more of a thing on your computer and how much storage you have and all that, but... I mean, I guess you can do something... I don't really know how building games all works, but I'm guessing there's something out there that'll allow you to make it less laggy when you kind of run out of space. Like auto turn down the graphics or something like that. I don't know, but the graphics are pristine right now, so if you were to lower the graphics, they would be pretty much the same graphics as for the Frozen 3. So if it were to get laggy, it wouldn't really be that much of a difference if it were to lower the graphics. Oh no. Ooh, ooh. I don't think I injured anyone in that. I think I just bumped their car. Pretty hard, but I bumped their car. How is the Porsche at pretty much the end? Like, boy. How is that even possible? Oh, there's a Porsche in like fifth place. Uh, the Zenvo didn't get three. Somehow. So, street racers have all these unspoken rules about respect and honor and who can and can't join, but all you need to know is, drive like that and you're welcome anytime. Oh yeah, GG. <laughs> that Zenvo though, if you guys saw it on the winning screen, on third place, looks sick. Cool miss. Um, yeah, I'm guessing this is summer. I didn't actually check what the other one was. Um, does it tell me? There must be one more race to do. There has to be. 
And that's when we unlock the cars. Hey. Yep. Just to let you know, there's another round one dirt race starting soon if you fancy it. See you there. Oh, and me and Jay have just finished setting up a new danger sign. You should check it out if you fancy some thrills along the way. Well, I do. Okay, so real quick, uh, I don't know how far. Oh, uh, this is as far as I can scroll out. We do have like a little highway thing here. And this place is crazy. This place is cool looking. Um, but we do have a lot going on in the whole map, which we are eventually going to get to. This is all we've focused on right now, though. And actually, those drives have taken a while. They're about three miles apart, I think, roughly. Um, I think the farthest ones apart are like three miles. So, Or no, 1.2 miles. So they're not too far apart, but I'm guessing that the map is about 12 miles wide or long or whatever from one end to the other uh so that would be cool for like a fun or like a road trip type thing that would be fun and also how did i beat an adventador in a rally car on a street race can you explain that because <laughs> i honestly do not know because adventadors are extremely fast oh right i was going to the danger sign so it might be about two miles away the other thing Okay, we're gonna hit the danger sign pretty fast. We you have arrived at your destination. Oh, have I? Woo, buddy. These were boarded up to mark potential hazards. Then me and Alex went around to put whacking great flags on all of them. Great. Voila, a danger sign is born. So long as you survive, they'll probably let us build more. Ten thousand dollars for that. Woo. Only one thousand more influence. That thing gave me a decent amount. Um, I wonder if you got like really good scores and everything if it would give you enough influence to go into the next round really quickly. Um, so this is kind of a change of subject. What is he doing? This is kind of a change of subject. Um, but I wonder if Porsches are super good in this game still. Like if they've added new ones. I don't know if they've made any new ones lately. Um, but if they're at least an S2 class and below, I mean, I don't know, 200,000? I might buy those as my starter car. Now, so far though, I have my eyes set on a Super BRZ. Um, the 2013 version in two, um, Four Thousand Three was pretty good uh, when upgraded. This is a 2018 version, I believe, in this one though. So that's cool. So I don't know if it's better, worse, same, pretty much. Um, they look pretty much the same. But we shall see who wins this race. I believe this is a lap race too. Yeah. This one doesn't take very long, at least it didn't in the demo, and they're pretty much the same at the start. Um, definitely not the same overall. Uh, at the start, these games are the same. When you get going, though, these games are not even close to the same. The second I manage to actually see what cars are in the game, I am going to explode, because... I, just, I don't even care if they don't have the cars that I want. Just the fact that they have, like, cool, updated 2018 cars. That's just cool to me. I do know that they have the 2018 BRZ though. That's... I, I know that. That was in one of my demo races. I just saw BRZ and I was like, ooh, fancy. So, that is now there. And that is now cheap. Uh, it's like 25000 I think. Um, so at least in real life. So, that is a good starter car. Um, the Audi that we got as well is a pretty good starter. A little bit more pricey. So we got it for free. Um, in the demo version, I upgraded the Audi completely, and it got to like halfway through S2+, plus, which is not bad. Um, not the best, but for this game, since we have a higher bar um, with the Chiron and all that, the really, really, really good cars, um, I'm kind of wondering if S2 class is hard to get. I'm thinking it is, just because, like I said, the bar is raised a lot. So it would be a little bit more difficult to get up to those ranks, um, just because things are a lot better than it. So S1 class is even good, S2 class is a pretty big feat, and then like halfway through S2 class is like hypercar style. Um, so that is definitely something that I'm going to kind of um, make in my mind right now, just a little note that we might want to start focusing towards the higher end S2 plus cars 
uh, when we start getting a little bit more money, just because those ones are usually a little bit more pricey. Occasionally, you'll get a pretty cheap one that's up there. Um, but of course, they probably won't like update or update um, upgrade well, things like that. So like, they only upgrade down in the stats. Uh, the venom, or yeah, no, yeah, yeah, the venom in the other game, um, the Hennessy. Uh, it kind of didn't really upgrade very well. Some. That's something that I also want to look towards is making sure that I buy the right car at the right time. So I'm guessing this is going to get us to enough influence for autumn, which is probably going to unlock the auto show. And then we'll have a little road trip back over there. Okay. Right. Good news is you've made the cut for the Horizon Autumn season. Oh my god. Bad news, obviously, is that it doesn't start until autumn. You don't mind sticking around, do you? I love how the actual scenery and everything changes as well. It's just so crazy. Hey, I owe you big time for helping me out earlier. Meet me here. I want to repay your favor. <gasps> no. Oh my god. We're getting introduced into houses. I completely forgot about that. I completely forgot about that. Oh my god. Dude, this was not in the demo. Okay, we're getting out of the demo. We are getting out of the demo right now. Oh my gosh. I hope you guys are as hyped as I am right now because this is crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This might be a little bit longer than 30 minutes. I'm guessing it is already right now. That is crazy. I forgot about the houses. I'm hoping there are a whole bunch of houses that you can buy. Dude, that's gonna be so crazy. Just something added to the game. Like, a new mechanic, all besides the whole seasons changing, which is probably the biggest mechanic in the game. But houses. Like, do you have a garage or something? Does it just unlock perks? Like, this one unlocks drone mode, I think it said. So that's cool. That's sick, dude. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to learn as we go on. Because uh, I know nothing about this, and I'm not gonna search anything up about this. Uh, unless I get really stuck, which these games are pretty hard to get stuck on. Um, so they just kind of tell you how to do everything and then you go from there. Um, oh no. Yep, that guy just rammed me into the front of a car. And now the front of my car looks like a rally car. Great. Um, this guy's still about two miles away. Thanks for being so far from the destination. Um, dude, this is gonna be so cool. So we get a free house. I wonder if we get to, like, walk around in person. Because usually these games are only uh, cars, and I won't be surprised if it's not just um, something to be had in the game. Um, but that would be really, really cool if you could actually, like, walk around in third-person mode, just, like, with your character. That would be a lot of programming extra to do, but they already do a lot of programming, so... I wouldn't put it past them if they did do that. It's just something extra that I'm probably not expecting them to do it, but I, like I said, I wouldn't put it past them to do it. Uh, we shall see, though, what happens right here and as we go on. So, like I said, we are getting out of the range of the demo, which is crazy. Uh, we're right here. Okay. Okay. Gabbles. Gabblers. I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, I think it's a gabbles. You're not gonna believe this. Not bad. The film producers bought this house to use as a set, but when filming wrapped, they just left it. I had a word, and you know what? They said you could have the house for free as a thank you for your work on the movie. Oh my god. Purchase. Excellent. <gasps> well, since this one's on the movie company, here's the keys. That is crazy. If nothing else, you can store your threads here. Your wardrobe is like a map of your career. Bro. So the more you get yourself That's out crazy. Of it, the more clothes you get in return. Speaking of which, I see you've already made a name for yourself before coming to Horizon UK. So I ordered in some exclusive threads as a thank you. Wait a second. Did it realize? Or does it just automatically come with these? I wonder. They're both really cool, and I both have them. But this one I got, um, because I actually played the demo, so I'm gonna wear that. Um, these ones are all locked for now. Grey hoodie, not bad looking. I will get that. Uh, let's see here. 
You know, I might go with those. They just fit, I guess. <laughs> um, those are like slip-on bands. What type of shoes would I wear? You know, those are... Nah. I'm gonna go with those. Why not? Nope, no hat. Nope, that looks nerdy. <laughs> okay. That's great. That is great. So I think um the like green and all that and that means like uh rare like the rarity of it. So this is like golden. Um so that means like legendary or something. Santa's stash. Oh my god, dude. This thing is great. Um Dude. This. That looks super fancy. Uh, best of bombs. Oh, I have that. The best of bombs car pack. So, that's probably... You ain't good at dancing? You can bust a move to show off before a race, and bust an even bigger move for when you win. Trust me, it'll be great. Oh, no. No! Dude. Do they have Bruh. Okay. Um I'm wondering if they have like <laughs> Oh my god. The re oh my gosh. This is great. Oh I I remember that. Okay. So these are all just kind of random, but they're really, really funny. And I actually, um, so you guys might, like, call me cringy for this, but I'm wondering if they have, um, oh, they have the floss. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm wondering if they have things like the shoe. The robot. Oh my god, yep. That is going to be the one that I need. I am going to get that eventually. Okay. Emotes. It's probably the best thing they added in the game. That's great. Um, so we want to go past that. We already have that. Okay. So, I believe we are now set with our character design. What? Uh, to continue- your continued support inspires us. Rewards based on your loyalty tier. Oh, cool. So I get a Ford F-150 Raptor truck for playing uh, Forza Horizon 3. So that's cool. Uh, we don't get anything for playing Forza Horizon 2, though. Oh my god. What is this? Pride of football. Qualify for... That... Oh my holy Jesus. Well, look who made it to the autumn season. You are this close to qualifying for the next round of the dirt racing series. You should come back to Tarnhouse, it's completely different in autumn. This is crazy. It like changes the whole area. Hey you buddy. We've added some more stations to your radio. If you're into drum and bass, then tune into hospital records. And if you're into something much calmer, Timeless FM is back with a healthy dose of classical. In 400 yards. Okay, left. well, um, I'm gonna go and check out this area over here. Turn left. It says that it's a white horse up in him. Okie doke. Um, so we did not unlock the car or the, like the auto show yet. Ah, the Offington White Horse. This thing's incredible. The first prehistoric display of horsepower. One. <laughs> wow. Roasted. You older folks just got roasted because it said one horsepower. That's like this. That's like 
that, not even. Just like that. Like, boy. Recalculating route. Or actually, by the name it says horsepower, so it might actually just be a horse that made that. So actually that's not too bad, because horses are pretty fast and pretty strong. Oh my god, I autocorrected. Or overcorrected, not autocorrected. Wait a second. Is everything changing as I get next to it? Whoa my god, that was deep. That was super duper deep. Whew. Like half my car just went under that. My dude's probably fine with it because it's just... Like, a, this thing's a rally car. That's what you're meant to do with it. So, he was prepared. Uh, my... Yep. So I'm like the hit marker sound. If you know what I mean? Like the... This is London Electricity just back from saying farewell to summer. Oh. Oh. Massive blowout set on the hospital record stage. Wait, so does that mean that it's now actually autumn? Like we start in autumn? Or is it just trying to put me through all the different seasons pretty quickly? Because I didn't I thought that we were starting in summer. So don't fully listen to what I say because I'm not 100%, but I thought that we had summer for the start.